Yeah, that, that, that's actually, it's an excellent question. And if we're doing the surgery for an isolated meniscus tear, our chance of success is very high. Um, if we're doing the surgery in the face of some pre-existing arthritis, um, the chance of uh, surgery succeeding is not quite as, uh, as great. Um, oftentimes I'll say to my patients, if, if, if 80% of your symptoms are coming from the torn meniscus and 20% of your symptoms are coming from arthritis, you're gonna get about an 80% relief of your symptoms. If on the other hand, 20% is coming from the torn meniscus, 80% is coming from the arthritis, you can expect that the result oftentimes isn't gonna be that great. Um, the problem is going into the operation, we oftentimes don't know exactly how much of the pain is coming from the torn meniscus and how much is coming from the arthritis. Uh, things that I think work in my patients or in our patients' favor is a relative short duration of symptoms uh, from time of injury or time of, of, of um, symptom onset uh, to presentation into our office.